We're also tracking the latest developments in another high-profile case, the Aaron Hernandez murder trial. Today, prosecutors tried to prove that Aaron Hernandez's rental car had been at the scene in North Attleboro where Odin Lloyd was found dead. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live outside Fall River Superior Court with the Mobile Newsroom. Today we saw a tire from Hernandez's rental car and photos of a tire track that was discovered at the scene. A tire track expert from state police says they're a match. And you can see where there's... Massachusetts State Police Trooper Todd Gerard says this ink tire track overlay and this 3D silicone impression prove the rear passenger tire from Aaron Hernandez's rented Nissan Altima left this tire track near Odin Lloyd's body. It made the impression. And what was the basis of that opinion? It was based on the agreement between the class characteristics and the physical size and design, as well as numerous individual characteristics that are very unique. Those characteristics, four stone holds. You can see where they altered the tire. Would you agree with me, sir, that there are hundreds of stone holds in this tire? I would. And you focus on four of them, right? That's correct. Trooper, you have no idea how many other tires on the road in June of 2013 had little rocks or pebbles in those same four spots, do you? I don't. During cross-examination, the defense also questioned the trooper's credentials and expertise. Coming up new at 6, hear from the woman who lived next door to Aaron Hernandez's so-called flop house. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Now Aaron Hernandez on trial. More witnesses were called to the stand today to offer evidence that the former football player and Odin Lloyd were together the night of the murder. New at 6 tonight, we're hearing from the woman who lived next door to Hernandez's apartment in Franklin. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Highway News News reporter Susan Campbell is in Fall River. That witness said she often saw Hernandez at the apartment complex, but rarely spoke with him. Or, or I would around. say in May, yes. Carol Bailey lived next door to Aaron Hernandez's rented apartment in Franklin, Massachusetts. On how many occasions did you see him either coming or going to the building? Not many. And, and if you can quantify that, what is it? How Maybe how once or twice a week. During the investigation into Odin Lloyd's death, co-defendant Carlos Ortiz led police to Hernandez's second home at the Ledgewood apartment. Ortiz referred to the place as a flop house. Hernandez's former neighbor says she often heard men's voices coming from the apartment. Loud, kind of what I would expect locker roomish. Let's strike everything after loud. Bailey also says she often smelled a strong odor coming from the apartment. To me, it smelled a little bit like it smelled more like skunk than anything else I could think of. According to court documents, police discovered ammunition at the apartment, including five boxes of 45 caliber bullets, the same caliber ammunition used to kill Odin Lloyd. Today, we ended the day in the middle of testimony from a T-Mobile employee who is talking about Odin Lloyd's cell phone records. That witness will be back on the stand tomorrow. In Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.